At some point, you'll want to add images to your course content. There are two ways to add images. One of them is good, the other not so good. Here's the start of a page about time management. We want to add a picture of a clock to this page. Here's where we want to add it, and we'll click the Embed Image icon. We go out to the web and find this picture of the astronomical clock in Prague. It's really cool. We copy the URL, return to Canvas, and stop. No we're not going to paste the URL. If you use a link to someone else's site, then every time a student goes to your school's page, that server will make a request to the external site. The text comes back from your school's server, but the image comes back from the external site's server. You're using their data transfer that they pay for. In a sense, you're stealing their bandwidth. Instead, go to the picture of the clock, right-click, and save the image. We'll save it in this folder. In Canvas, we'll say that our image source comes from Canvas. We'll choose a folder to upload to and upload that file. Canvas asks you for alt text. We'll explore that in a future video. This image, however, is purely for decoration. It's not necessary to understand the content, so we'll mark it that way. And then update. And there's the image in the page's content. What you've done is you've made a copy of the external site's image and uploaded it to your school's server. Now, when students make a request for the page, the text and the image both come from your school's server. One more thing before we end this video. This image is far too large. You can resize an image by clicking it and dragging one of the handles at its edge. Let's make it a little bit smaller, and that's about the size we'd like. Let's center it, and save the page. And that's how you insert images into your course content. In the next video, we'll talk more about resizing images.